So at this point, hopefully you watch my tracking parameters video. That tells you everything you need to know about UTM parameters. Uh, how other companies use them with their AdWords account, how you can use them in your Facebook account for you know posts or uh, ads there, and also some of the best practices around naming the values for those parameters. Uh, so anyways, those are the UTM parameters that we're going to use in our uh, AdWords account. And this video is going to be about setting up a tracking template with custom parameters. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to use the source, medium, and campaign. And what I want to do is I want to set anything, anyone that comes from you know an AdWords ad, the medium is going to be set to AdWords. So that's what's going to be captured inside Infusionsoft. And then the campaign is going to be set to the campaign. So that'll be set to fall or summer or winter. That's how I have my campaign set up in this AdWords account. For the source, I'm going to use the ad group. So it's going to tell me Black Friday, Labor Day, Independence Day, or something else. Uh, for the UTM content, uh, that'll be information about the ad. So which individual ad they clicked on. So if the ad, you know, described a free trial or lead source tracking or discount or something like that, it'll say something along those lines. And then for the UTM term, that's going to be the keyword, the keyword that triggered the ad. So for this video, I'm just going to cover custom parameters. I'm not going to talk about value track parameters yet. So I'm just going to remove the content and the term. So right now, I just want to do the medium campaign and source uh, just to keep this video short and uh, simple. So let's create a tracking template. Let's do LP URL. That's the landing page URL. And we put a question mark and we're going to have UTM medium equals AdWords. That's hard coded. We'll have UTM campaign, which is uh, it's going to be the campaign name. And I'm going to use a custom parameter. And I'm going to call that custom parameter campaign. Uh, all custom parameters start with an underscore. So this is how you, de you define a custom parameter. And then for the UTM source, this is going to be underscore ad group. So this is going to be the name of the ad group. So when we set up this template, we can set up a template at the account level, at the campaign level, the ad group level, and also at the ad level. I don't want to set up templates all over the place. I kind of just want to have one template at the account level and then the campaign and the ad group and all that, the keyword and all that stuff is just kind of dynamically populated, right? It's like the simplest way to do it. So let's, let's just do the source medium and campaign. These are three required fields. So if you're going to build a tracking, uh, tracking URL, source medium and campaign are like the three parameters that are required at a minimum. So let's just copy that. That's my template. And let's set that up at the account level. So to go to the account level, just click settings down here. Go to account settings. And where it says tracking template, none. Let's define a template at the account level. So we're just going to test that. And what it's doing right now is it's grabbing a sample of my ads. Usually it grabs like 10 or something. But I only have 8 ads, so it grabbed all of them. And it's just going through and it's making sure that every landing page was found. And if you hover over the, this little guy, it'll tell you what tracking template it's using. So this is the tracking template that we just defined at the account level. And then it tells you what attributes were used. So here's the underscore ad group and the underscore campaign custom parameter. However, they're empty. They're not set. So whenever somebody clicks on this ad or any of these ads, this is what's going to be passed to your website. You're going to have the medium, the campaign, and the source. The medium is going to be AdWords, the campaign is going to be empty, and the source is empty. So that doesn't really give you any information that you want, right, other than that it came from AdWords. So let's get the campaign name in here and also the ad group name in here. So to do that, uh, we'll just go to uh, campaign settings. Ah, let me uh, save this. So I'm going to save this template. So let me go to the campaign settings, which is right here. All right, campaign settings, settings. I don't know how to click that, but uh, 
What we want to do is add some columns here that has the custom parameter columns. So to do that, go to modify columns, click that, and we're going to add custom parameter and tracking template. That's what I want to add. So there's no tracking template at the campaign level. I mean, we can define one right here if we wanted to, but I don't want to have a template at the campaign level. I like adding this just so that I know that there's no template, so that's blank. But for custom parameter, we need to define the custom parameters. So recall, for the campaign, this was the custom parameter name that, that we're going to use. So we'll do, it already puts the underscore there for you. So we'll do campaign, and this is the fall campaign. Then we need to do summer, and then winter. So you'll want to do this for all of your campaigns. And there is a way you can, I think, export data and then upload it, mass update this stuff, but that's kind of out of the scope of this video. So here's the campaigns, and these are the custom parameters that we defined. So let, let's go back to the account level and test our tracking template and see what happens now. So if I click on this URL, the medium is AdWords, and the campaign is Fall. So this ad that I clicked on, the Black Friday, from the Black Friday ad group, that came from the fall campaign. However, uh, the source isn't set, so that's gonna tell us the ad group. So let's close this, and let's go to the ad groups. Uh, we'll just click on ad groups here. So these are my ad groups, and let's add those columns, the uh, custom parameters and the tracking templates. So modify the columns, go to attributes, click on custom parameter, click on tracking template, and then apply that. So there's no tracking template being used. I just want to verify that. And then let's define custom parameters. We name that ad group and let's call it Black Friday. So I like doing all lowercase stuff with underscores for spaces. That's just what I do. Um, and that's what I would recommend other people do as well. So we'll do Christmas. We'll do independent, independence. Day. And then we'll do Labor Day. And then New Year's. Alright, so we set <clears throat> we set a custom parameter at the ad group level for every ad group that tells us the name of the ad group. So Black Friday, Christmas, Independence Day, Labor Day, and New Year's. Um, so let's go back to the account settings and let's test our template again. Let's go back to settings, account settings, and test. So I'll click on any ad because uh, all of these ads are using the account level tracking template. So I'll click on the first one. And so the medium is AdWords, Winter, and New Year's. So if somebody were to fill out my web form, this is the data that I would collect for that lead. Uh, it would tell me that they came from the AdWords winner New Year's ad uh, or ad group. So that doesn't quite get us to the ad level. It doesn't tell us um, exactly which ad they clicked on, but it's getting us close. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to track down to the ad level and also how to extend your tracking using value track parameters. That'll capture the keyword. Uh, so. <clears throat> to recall, to recap in this video, all we did, we defined a tracking template at the account level, and then we set up custom parameters at the campaign level, and, and also, well, if you go to campaigns, you won't see your custom parameters here, so you have to go to settings and then campaign settings. It's kind of quirky, but that's how you have to do it. But we set up custom parameters at the campaign level and also at the ad group level.